look at this first problem here, we notice the denominator will factor into x minus 6 times x plus 4. Now be careful of the wording of the problem. This is not asking for the domain. This is asking what values of x are not in the domain. So in this case, the answer is 6 and negative 4 are the two values not in the domain. Had they asked for the domain instead, then we would have said all values except those two values, and that would be from negative infinity to negative 4, united with the values between those two numbers, united again with the numbers off to the right from 6 to infinity. In this second problem, we are adding fractions. You may not multiply through by a least common denominator. You want to keep the common denominator when you're adding. This is not an equation. So we need to convert each of these. The first one is being multiplied by x down below, so the 5 up above is going to get multiplied by x also. The second fraction is getting multiplied by x minus 3 down below, so up above the 2 is going to get multiplied by x minus 3. Do not cancel those x minus 3's. That 1 up in the numerator is not a factor of the numerator, it's only multiplied by the 2. So the numerator becomes 5x plus 2x minus 6 over this x times x minus 3. And if you combine like terms in the numerator, you now have 7x minus 6 over x times x minus 3, which is then the answer to this problem. We will simplify this complex fraction by multiplying in each of the four corners by the least common denominator that we find among the four mini denominators. That will be 3x squared. So we're multiplying by 3x squared over 3x squared and really distributing that through to each of the four fractions. In the top left corner, the x squareds cancel, leaving 6 times 3, which is 18 minus the top right corner, 3 and x will cancel, leaving another x times 2, so minus 2x. Down in the denominator, one of the x's cancels, we'll have 3x times 4, which is 12x, and then the x squareds will cancel altogether, leaving 3 times 2, so minus 6. Let's take the numerator and factor out a 2. That will give us 2 times 9 minus x. And down below, we can factor out a 6. Don't need that equal sign anymore. 6 times 2x minus 1. We can reduce the 2 and the 6 to 1 third. And then write this as 9 minus x over 3 times 2x minus 1. Let's solve number 4 by multiplying through by the least common denominator, which is 6. And in the first fraction, the 6 cancels with a 3, leaving 2 times x plus 1. Minus, and here's where the mistakes occur. If you just say, ah, oh, the 6's cancel and you go x minus 1, you're going to get this wrong because you need to distribute that negative to that numerator and therefore the parentheses really are necessary. On the right, the 6's cancel and you just have equals 1. So doing the distribution, we have 2x plus 2 minus x plus 1 is equal to 1. Simplifying on the left, we have x plus 3 equals 1, and x then is equal to negative 2. There is no possibility of getting a 0 in the denominator because there are no x's in the denominator, so we're going to assume that this is an okay solution. For problem number 5, I notice that x squared minus 4 is the difference of two squares, which is the product of the other two denominators. And so the least common denominator that we're going to multiply through by to clear the fractions in this equation will be x plus 2 times x minus 2. In the first fraction, the x plus 2's cancel, leaving x minus 2 times the 1, or just x minus 2. On the right, in the first fraction, we cancel the whole thing out, leaving just the 4, minus and then the x minus 2's cancel, and if you write x plus 2 there, you're going to get it wrong, because it's negative 1 times that, and you don't want to mess up the distribution of that negative. So please be on the lookout anytime subtraction is involved. Let's do that distribution on the right. This gives us an equation of x minus 2 is equal to 4 minus x minus 2, 
and then we have x minus 2 is equal to 2 minus x. Let's add x to each side, and while I'm at it, I'm going to add 2 to each side. Now we have 2x equals 4, and therefore x equals 2. But when you take that 2 and you substitute it back into the original problem, you notice that it gives you an undefined denominator. So in this problem, there really is no solution. And if you're not checking your solutions, you won't catch that.